Panasic with Gibbons Motor Toys. Today we're going to show you the Kingfisher 2025 Escape Soft Top. We recently did the hard top. This hull is exactly the same as the hard top. There are some uh, feature differences on the interior besides the obvious hard top, which we'll show you once we get inside the boat. But exterior wise, it's identical. So it's a 20 foot boat, it's an 8 foot beam. It's uh, got the uh, engine bracket on the back, so it's a true 20-foot hull with an extended engine bracket, which is about 28 inches long. Four reverse chines, as with all Kingfisher, welded performance strikes, as with every Kingfisher. This has got a 16-degree variable dead rise hull, so this is going to give you the best of both worlds. It's going to give you great performance, great steering. It's going to get up on step quick. It's going to stay there at slow speeds, and it's going to give you a nice stable uh, hull when you're at idle or trolling stationary in the boat. Looking at the transom of the boat, what we've got here is uh, you can see the engine bracket. It's designed. You could put a kicker bracket on either the port or the starboard side. Uh, looking at the uh, Kingfisher hull again, full formed in reverse chines right from bow to stern, the 16 degree dead rise, the performance delta keel in the center, and again these are all the things that contribute to that nice smooth ride yet a stable hull when it's at rest. This has the built in swim ladder which hides underneath here. This has got the sloper top that you can see that totally seals the boat. We'll peel this off in a second. We'll show you the walkthrough transom. This also has the tow bar option, which is new for this year. So you can see there's where the base of the bar goes, goes through here. So that's a nice feature that a lot of customers have been taking advantage of that we've never been able to offer in the past. Okay, this boat we equipped with a 150 horse. It's rated up to two and a quarter horsepower. Uh, we sell these with uh, 150s, 175s, 200s, and uh, 225 horsepower engines. Uh, the 150 works excellent on this hull. Uh, again, any one of those engines is going to work good just because it's a fairly easy hull to move. So really the only thing that you're going to gain is some top end speed as you pay more money for the extra horsepower. This also has the uh, step through uh, transom, which we showed you on the hard top. Very clever design. There's what it looks like when it's in the uh, stored position. And again, it's as simple as that. And you got yourself this great step, making it really easy to get uh, to the uh, back of your boat. Okay, so pretty much identical to the 2025 hardtop that we showed you. This has got the uh, rear cutting board above the live well. It's got the uh, tool holder here. You can put your pliers, knives. As far as the live well is concerned, it's a divided live well. It's aerated in this case, that's an option. Uh, and again, it can't be used for more than just fish. Uh, people that are out on the salt chuck will use this for crab storage as well. Storage here, again, really nice uh, hardware on here. Easy slide, easy lock drawer. At Gibbons Motor Toys, we put a battery switch on all our boats so that you can shut that off when you're away from the boat, knowing you're not draining batteries. Storage in the transom is awesome. This boat just has a single rear battery, but you can put dual batteries in here very easily and access to your billage, your pumps, your fuel filters. Everything is really wide open and easy to get at. The 2025s come with a 60 gallon fuel tank, which allows room for this storage behind the fuel tank as well. So that's a good large wet storage compartment. Again, as with uh, all our Kingfishers, we got the rolled edge here on these storage trays that again, make this really, really strong, easy on your knees. It's all smooth edges. This has got the optional carpeted uh, storage trays. So that makes just for a quieter boat, particularly when you got uh, items that are stored in there, you got the rod grippers for your rods. As you can see, you can literally put like 10 foot rods in there with lots of room. As we move forward, you got two 36 inch bench seats. So you got lots of storage there and here. These are the stock seats in the boat. So this is our Fishmaster seats. So this is what comes standard. They're a reasonably good seat. They're thick. They provide lots of padding, lots of cushion. They do swivel as well. And of course, you've got uh, the 18 inch storage benches underneath them, which are an option. 
And the beauty of this is this is true dry storage. You can see the way the lips go over top of the storage box. These boxes are all welded completely so that this, this boat can literally have water in it and you're not gonna get any moisture in these compartments. One key difference we wanna point out between the difference between the hard top and the soft top is gonna be that the soft top has these seats not as tall as the hard top. The hard top, if you looked at that video, there's approximately six inch of a riser underneath these seats and as well as the front seats, because on the hard top, we've got aluminum that comes up approximately six inches on the gunnel. So to give you that extra visibility in that boat. So at the 20 foot soft top, we're able to keep things a little bit lower because we're working with the height of the gunnels. As far as the uh, glove box area, same as every other Kingfisher, huge glove box. I can put most of my arm right in there. We've got this basically dam that we build up here. So you can put items up here. They're not gonna slide off. You got two drink holders here. We've got storage up here. And this is all fairly nicely finished off. I don't know if you can see too well in there, but this has got all the extra canvas and everything, but this is all finished. And that is dry storage up there. Because of the self baling drop bow, everything you put up there is gonna stay dry. We've got the aluminum uh, checker plates here for your feet. And then when you look at the uh, driver's helm, there's a room for up to a 12 inch display here to be flush mounted. So you can see we've got a nine inch here. We've got the uh, GPS uh, puck mounted on the dash. And there's room for a pile of, you know, if you wanted a VHF or a radio or a stereo system or anything like that, there's lots of extra room here. Another feature that Kingfisher does, it's a real simple idea, but a lot of people just wouldn't think about it. So this slot right here is actually designed to stick your paddle in. So you can stick a paddle, one on each side, it's gonna rest against the side of the boat and you, not in your way, you don't even know that it's there. So it's just a great place to store two paddles. As with every Kingfisher, we got the uh, drop bow. We uh, normally will paint ours so that there's less glare from sun. With raw aluminum, you'll get that. So the paint helps shield that. The bow is self bailing You got the drain holes in each corner. So if you filled with this water, filled this with water, that water is gonna drain outside the boat. You've got anchor storage up here. And really the beauty of all this within the windshield is when that windshield is closed, you are sealed. So you're gonna have a boat that's gonna work really well early in the spring to late in the fall, keeping you warm and dry. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Like always, if you uh, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, that's much appreciated and uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>